right, fellas, we got Brandon's GTR done in this video. Make sure you check it out. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell. Uh, we got the transmission in, got the exhaust on, and this bitch rips. So check it out. So fpombaggers.com. Don't forget, get that swag. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. All right, peace. We are en route to Crusader Customs. He's gonna get us uh, dismounted. Got the wheels chilling in the back. Actually one new wheel in a box because I guess supposedly when he bought the car, it had a cracked rim, but it was welded and it just randomly leaks. That one will go on the, our wall for display. But they're gonna get, like I said, a, pro a powder coated, uh, it's like a bronze gold, whatever you wanna call it. It's a matte finish too, so it'll go good with the, the matte plasti dip that's on it. But he needs them tonight because he's gonna get them stripped tonight. That way, they're prepped tomorrow. So yeah, basically on Saturday, we'll be able to pick them up, get them back to Crusader, and get them mounted. Hopefully this thing's running by Sunday. And I'm making hits by Monday, and he's picking it up. Get the lift freed up, and kind of the next installment of what car we're gonna work on. So yeah, just a heads up to CJ on 32s. If you don't know who that guy is, local guys do. He's a big guy doing the big wheels on the car stuff. CJ works here if you want to say it I guess I don't know what you call it but he started off here and he still comes here and he's here every day so make sure you check his channel out like I said he's doing all the big wheel stuff on the cars he did a CA Corvette did a custom crazy pearl paint job on it and now he picked up a Huracan definitely doing something right with the whole YouTube channel because he's got over 500,000 subscribers so that's the motivation that I need to see someone local like that actually making it on the YouTube side at least I get business off of it, so it works out on that part. But see what he's doing just with the YouTube platform. Definitely, we're going to start doing this more and more. And I, I keep saying it, and I do that, and I go, go MIA for a month. But this time, we're going to, no matter what, drop it. Everyday vlogs, car stuff, bike stuff, you name it. One thing that sucks about YouTube is you have to play royalty-free music. Royalty-free music is music that isn't owned by a company. You can buy a subscription monthly to a catalog of royalty-free music. You can't play popular music that people know because that's then copyrighted and it kills your earnings you can make on YouTube. Same with the TV, it's the same way. They're always working in silence or doing stuff in silence. It's because of that. And then YouTube is the same way now. You have to, you have to either play, that's why I always play songs you guys never heard of, um, just because it's royalty-free and I'm paying a subscription to it. You know, when you walk in here, you gotta turn the music down if they're playing music in the background, and it's fun. So you gotta, like, CJ is really good at that. He's, he, he knows to put the kill on it right away. So I gotta get used to that if I'm gonna continue to do this. I wanna back into his door here. So I see a parts getter right here. Here's a parts getter, look at that. That's convenience right there. Does it for you. Go ahead and open that side door too. I give you the peek out front real quick. So all my truck wheels and all that extra wheels for my car. These are Rohanas, they're local in Chicago. They're actually a pretty badass wheel. Except they're, they're powder coating, can be a little bit. So but yeah, that's what Al does right here. So we're gonna drop them off and he's gonna dismount them and I gotta come grab them. So we got a few bolts on the top. We let this sit for almost two weeks, three weeks. It's penetrating lubricant because they say it's a pain in the ass to get off, which they were. So he's almost there. Cracked a couple sockets and but we're getting them off. So couldn't even get that bolt inductor heater or whatever on or nothing. So should use man force. So yeah. cool design so basically now this car will be straight pipe technically so you're gonna have a free flow down pipe it's already got the mid pipe on it which was a free flow which deleted the secondary tabs now it's gonna have no muffler 
no cats. It will be loud. <laughs> oh yeah. Give me the pistola. She's out. Alright, we just picked these guys up from advanced powder over by us. The nice flat bronze. We got one new wheel because the other one is damaged. This one was jacked from when he bought it. Someone welded it. So it was always leaking. So he had to order one new replacement wheel. And then he got some new Pirellis all the way around. I don't know if the center cap's gonna be black. We're gonna have to do something with that. So we got the HKS exhaust. I don't even want to say exhaust. Basically, it's a looks like a resonator, if anything, all stainless steel. He already had a mid pipe on it, and like obviously you've seen in the video right now, we did down pipes. This thing should be pretty crazy loud when it's all said and done. So if you look at the the old catted, basically catted down pipe, but now they're all mounted and completely hollow. That's what we want. We want loud. And it should gain some good amount of horsepower too now that the turbo is able to breathe. Especially looking at the stock exhaust right here. Should be pretty badass. Brand new tips and everything. Nice piece of equipment right here. Uh, I just love how the tip have the colors on them too. So you'll see that you'll get a better look when those are off. So stay tuned. All right, so the trans is back in. We put it in, uh, me and my brother this weekend. It was a lot easier going back in than it was put, taking it out because it's the first trans we did on a GTR. So now we're good and you know, now we know what we're doing. Macho got the down pipes, so we've got the mid pipe in. We still got to put the cat pack in and put all the panels, but just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna fire it up and it's just the mid pipe. And then the only thing we got to do is to put this box in, which dots and motorsports, some trans, trans deal with line pressure or whatever. Body, lower body panels back on and it's got a wire in that little box for the line pressure and it'll be good to go. Yeah. <laughs> 